Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Studio here in Lytham, and I'm going to be reviewing these bad boys, the new Ping Eye Blade, the Eye Beautiful. They are just stunning. And there's a word I don't use very often. These are sexy irons. The sexiest irons Ping have ever, ever made without question. They are beautiful. So the Eye Blade is a replacement for the S range. So the last S club was an S55, which I think came out almost like two years, over two years ago now. This is the replacement for that. So Ping now are gonna have their G range for the forgiving, G Max for the super forgiving, I range for the middle of the road, and then I blade for the better player who's looking for a bladed golf club. Um, very much look, looks like the glide wedges that Ping brought out. They've kept with that look, almost like a scooped out back. The finish on this golf club, but hopefully the close-ups that I'm throwing on screen now are giving that some sort of justice. The finish is spectacular. Complete cut above anything that Ping have ever done before. I saw pictures of these golf clubs before getting my hands on them. And I was like, oh, yeah, they look nice. Getting them in person and properly looking at them, they are superb. I've got the full set, but I'm only going to hit, they came in a beautiful presentation box. I'm only going to hit a seven iron, a four iron and a pitching wedge on GC2, um, just to give you some numbers as well. So, like I said, this is for the better player. It is a bladed golf club, but it's not flat back. There is technology still packed into this. Let's hit some and then we'll have a bit of a chat about them. Not only do they look great when you pick them up and have a look at them, but also when sat down behind the ball, they continue that good look. Very simple design. They've got the traditional white groove on the across the bottom groove of the club, as most ping irons do. Um, very thin top edge, quite rounded on the toe. I love the extended ferrule that they've thrown in. So S55s was, I think, the first S range with a ferrule, but they've made this particular ferrule, which is the, the little black thing here where it connects the head to the shaft or covers it traditionally, it kind of, it's more of a cover than a connector, is longer. And that looks nicer, I like that. It's got a longer neck, it just looks great. Right, let's hit some. So seven iron, by the way, the lofts are fantastic. They are perfect for where they should be. They are not at all stupid strong. Well, they're not strong at all. This seven iron is 34 degrees. I've hit seven irons this year that have been 28.5, just to put that into perspective. This is a seven iron, which correctly so should be 34 degree. For the better player, they don't want the ball to go stupidly far. Um, they now just, I think it's worth noting that this set, the eye blade, are the first pin clubs not to come with pin grips. So they come as standard with the multi-compound grip. I'm sure you can have the pin grip, but they come as standard with the multi-compound. Again, they're looking at how they can entice that better player to hit these. You know, this is really, a lot of good players use the multi-compound. They thought, well, let's stick it straight on it. Why not? Um, right, let's give this a hit. So it is, it's just, yeah. Let's get some data. <laughs> so I would want my 7-iron to go about 168 carry. That would be pretty much perfect. And that was not far away. I've just slightly turned it offline. What did that actually carry out there? 167. Felt very nice off the head. It's not the softest feel I've ever felt in my life. That was 7,100 spin, which is a good spin number. I'm, I'm using Pro V1s. It's a good spin number for a 7 iron. You normally want the, for me when I'm hitting, I normally want the same amount of thousands for the golf club that I'm hitting. This is a 7, I want 7,000 spin. Um, they're not butter soft. They're not absolutely soft because they're not forged. They are a stainless steel which has softening features to it. But they're not super forged, which again I quite like because it doesn't mean that they get battered too easily as well. Forged clubs generally get dented and knocked. Well, these won't so much. I really like that need to hit that a little bit straighter but I can't I can't fault the feel the distance that I'm getting out of that please be 168 165 it's good I'm happy with the numbers what was the spin number on that one 6600 so just below that 7000 again it probably wasn't the best ever strike in the world but it was nice enough let's go one more
Oh, that felt great. That felt great. Go in the hole. Oh, it's a tiny bit short in fairness. It's a tiny bit short of where, considering I thought I hit that quite well, it's 161 carry. It's not too bad, I suppose, but it's, I didn't think it'd gone, I thought it'd gone a bit more towards the 168. I probably see this sitting nearer to the 16, kind of five carry distance, which I'd be happy with for, my, for the 79 that I'm hitting and working on controlling my speed anyway. Um, Let's talk about a bit more of the technology. So across the back here, where the, um, the, the majority of the cavity sits across that back section, there is an, an extended piece of elastomer. Elastomer, I think that's the way to describe it. Which is a way of being able to increase the moment of inertia, so make, making sure the club doesn't twist too much and also dampens any off-centered hits. So it dampens the feel and it makes it feel still okay. It has got, and you can't see it, it's not visible, but it has, ho has also got a tungsten weight in the toe. So the tungsten weight is helping again stabilize that head. You get stability in the heel because that's where the shaft goes in, but they've put the tungsten weight in the toe to stabilize the head as well on off-centered hits, which again is good for technology for a bladed golf club. Other features that I do really like cosmetically about this is the number on the bottom now. They've put a black border around it and then made the number chrome, shiny chrome, which I think looks awesome. I really do. Let's go to four eye next. A new feature as well is there is now a hydro pearl coating on these irons. So they've put this hydro pearl coating because it, it effectively makes it um, water repellent. So if you were playing in wet weather or the conditions weren't great, the water isn't gonna to stick to the groove so much, it's gonna repel away from the head. Again, it's helping with that level of control. Sometimes if water can get trapped between the ball and the surface of the club face, it doesn't do the, the best in the world. So um, they've actually put this new coating on a, a hydro pearl, which is designed to repel the water. So four iron now I'm hitting, this is 23.5 degrees of loft. Again, love that loft. I think it's perfect, exactly where it should be. I'd expect to be carrying this around the 210 mark. Even the, even the four iron, as much as it's a blade, it doesn't look scary. It's not super tiny thin. That bottom groove, the whiteness of that bottom groove, it does something visually that I really like. I think it helps align the face a lot better. When you've got that white groove along the bottom, and I'm sure that's what it's there for, it really helps you align the face better. So you don't sit it so far open or so far closed. Right, let's give this a hit. Oh, that was a horrible, horrible toey golf shot. Okay, I'll throw it, leave it in, obviously I'll leave it in there. That's to give you an idea of what a toey horrible golf shot does. I felt it. The elastomer maybe doesn't go quite that far out to the toe. I absolutely felt it through my hands. It felt awful, it felt dreadful. And obviously I got punished for it. Went way left off target. Let's hit some nicer ones. There's the middle. There's the middle right there. Yeah, just actually just under that 210. I think these might go a little bit shorter distance potentially than what I currently use, even though the lofts are somewhere near the same. Uh, my four irons are a tiny bit stronger than this, but I wouldn't have expected maybe that much drop off. Again, the spin number's great, just under that 4,000 mark, which is what I was saying before, for four irons, I'd want. But yeah, I, I think there is gonna be a level of unforgiveness in there, and I don't think they're gonna go super long. Brilliant for the better player. Don't want it, they don't want the ball to go super long. And really, for the better player, they should be hitting the middle. Like I will demonstrate right now. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I really do. I love the feel of them. They're hard, but they're not, you know, I, I can get response off the face. They're not forged, so I don't get butter soft, but I still like the feel a lot. A hell of a lot. Now they're, they're actually claiming because they've made parts of the face thinner, they should go further, six yards further. I'm not seeing any evidence of that. And if I'm, if I'm dead on this with you, I wouldn't want them to go any further. I wouldn't even think about them going any further. 
The thing what I would like to see is that level of consistency on distances. For blades, that's what you want. You don't want the board to go any further. I'm sure that's probably just a little bit of a tagline to hook people in. Yeah, they go further. I'm going to be honest, I don't think they would do. I really don't think they would at all. Right, I'm going to hit the pitching wedge. I'll pull up the uh, green a little bit closer to us. Okay, so moving into the pitching wedge. Um, again, I love the fact that the ping just have the big W on it. And I really do love that touch that they've just put the black border and then made the number and the letter so bright and chrome and shiny. Um, the eye blade itself has got an eye kind of border and then the blade is, is etched into the club head. And on closer inspection, almost has a slightly kind of browy, browny grey tinge to it. It's not black and it's not, it's like it's a very subtle browny kind of look. I love it though. I've got no complaints about it at all. Right, wedge. Let's give this a hit. Nice, nice. I've put the flag to 140, but I don't think it'll get there, yeah. They're not long, they're not long at all. Now, I'm not cracking these, I'm not trying to get them to go long. I'm not trying to make it go the longest ever. I don't want them to, really, really. And that's not just me, not that, just that I don't want them to. I don't think better players want them to go stupid long. I think the guys who, who step up to the eye blades want these clubs because of the look, maybe for a tiny bit more forgiveness, but they want them to go consistent distances. They want them to spin well. I didn't see the last spin number on that actually, but I'll hit another one. That might go a tiny bit further, but only because I've slightly pulled it. But again, I love that, love it. What's the spin number? I'd like to see about maybe 10,000. RPM on a full shot with a wedge. 133 carry. What was that spinning at? 9,400. So, yeah, you know, happy with that. And maybe a groove higher on the face. In fact, the shot before that spun at 9,900. Exactly where I want them to sit. Exactly. I love these golf clubs. I'm sure you can tell. I love these golf clubs. I think they, as soon as I saw the image of them, I wanted to try them. As soon as I got them in person, I wanted to play with them. Coming in a what's in the bag, I'm sure soon. These are just beautiful. I can't not put these in the bag. I just think they're amazing. I really do. I'll do a little bit more testing, but for, for what I, the way I've hit those there and the way I can, I'm getting the sensation and the feel and the look, amazing. Guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do click the thumbs up. That was the new pink eye blade. Um, uh, you know, good shots, bad shots, ugly shots. You saw them all there. It's not, this is just me hitting them on GC2, showing you numbers, giving you a bit of my feedback, giving you some information about the clubs as well. If you do enjoy it, please click the thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and never seen a video before, well, why don't you subscribe, the big button down here, click that, and it will. you will never miss a new video. You can also check me out on all of the other social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I'm all over Snapchat at the moment. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, lots more to come. And we'll see you soon. Mwah! Love these.